Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Vorce. With all the talk about inclusiveness and tolerance and non-judgmentalism and insensitivity that we hear these days, something dramatically important is lost. What's lost is that there are real and substantive differences, differences that matter, that are foundational and definitional. And when we are talking about theology, those differences can mean heaven or hell. For example, when faithful Catholics correctly point out that Protestantism is a heresy, they are slammed immediately for being insensitive. But it is a heresy. And because it is a heresy, it has dragged hundreds of millions into false notions about our blessed Lord, grace, scriptures, the very nature of church, and dozens of other areas of teaching. It, Protestantism, the heresy, has denied untold souls access to the fullness of the truth. Think of all the hundreds and hundreds of millions who will never be able to enter into holy communion with our blessed Lord, who never experienced the healing grace of the sacrament of confession, who will dunder around pages of sacred scripture mistakenly misinterpreting this passage or that without ever getting it right. The term Protestant applies to a much wider swath of congregations than even many of those congregations are willing to admit. Some of the more recent evangelical con congregations, for example, with their huge megachurches, are absolutely Protestant, whether they like the term or not. They may be something of a new breed, kind of, or type of Protestant in their worship or individual pastors than Martin Luther, John Calvin, or the original revolutionaries, but they are Protestant nonetheless. The goal of faithful Catholics, clergy as well as laity, should be to convert them and show them the truth, the fullness of the truth granted to Christ's one holy Catholic apostolic church, period. It should not be to find common ground on various things unless, and only unless, it's a means to show them more of the truth. Protestant theology has absolutely nothing to add to Catholic theology. Some individual Protestants most likely do bring more to the table with regard to individual morality than some individual Catholics, but that's not what we're talking about here. Any truth that exists in the Protestant ecclesial communities, such as belief in the Holy Trinity, the divinity of Jesus Christ, etc., these are first Catholic truths. Protestant theology did not arrive at these truths on its own accord. They are the remnants of what Luther and Calvin did not chuck overboard. Catholics need to realize this. For too many decades, in classrooms and from pulpits, the glorious truth that is Catholicism has been sacrificed for the sake of theological expediency. Catholicism and Protestantism do not preach the same thing. They preach some of the same things, and even that is a very wide-ranging reality depending on which particular Protestant denomination you're comparing to. But they greatly are opposed to each other on some of the most important points. Our blessed Lord is truly and substantially present in the Eucharist. That is God himself and massive numbers of people who call themselves Christians deny his reality. Many refuse to acknowledge or even discuss the importance of the mother of God, the forgiveness of sins, the proper interpretation of sacred scripture, authority, and on and on. In the great rush for everyone to just get along, truth has been relegated to the back of the bus out of concern for not wanting to offend or be perceived as being insensitive. That is inexcusable, and it is wrong. Of course the truth has to be said in the most palatable method possible, but so many Catholics today, especially some in the clergy, especially some in the clergy, have taken that concern to such a level that even the very truth itself is now viewed as being insensitive. To listen to church leaders pander and grovel to the gods of sensitivity and tolerance at the expense of Catholic truth is sickening. Leaders have the moral obligation to lead, and when it comes to religion, they have the duty to lead people to the right religion. And there is a right religion. Jesus Christ settled that issue 2,000 years ago. A series of bad Catholics in the 16th century caused most of this problem, and it isn't a stretch to say that bad Catholics in the 21st century are keeping the problem alive. 
If these false ecumenism Catholics who are so concerned about playing footsie with the heresy in the name of getting along are so concerned about sensitivity, perhaps they should consider how insensitive they are being to our blessed Lord himself, who wills that all men be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. Their actions, regardless of their motives, are preventing, blocking, and obstructing souls that God has loved from all eternity from coming to the fullness of truth. Now, that's insensitive. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.